Welcome back to Computer Science Cafe. In this video we will have a look at using Google Translate. Google Translate is a great addition to Python to allow you to change the user's input to a different language, to allow you to change your program to a different language, and to allow the user to select what language they want to view your program. It's easy to use, easy to code, so let's get started. Okay, to use Google Translate, first of all, I'm using the standard Python Idle, Python 3.7, so I need to install Google Translate first. If you're using a Mac, go to Spotlight, type in Terminal, then open the terminal. If you're using a Windows machine, then go to the Start menu, type in Command Prompt, then open the Command Prompt. When you get there, if you type in pip3 install, and then Google Trans, all one word, and then that should install in a few seconds. Um, on mine, it's already installed, so done. Once that's done, we can get coding. Okay, so now that's installed, I need to import that library, so from Google Trans, uh, Trans with an S, import, and translator. Now this is case sensitive, so you need a capital T there. Import translator. Now I'm just going to create a variable to hold the method, so I'm going to call this translator again, which equals translator, open brackets, close brackets. So this is uh, holding uh, that translator method. Okay, I'm now going to create a variable to hold a word to translate. So if I just call this my word, and then I will just say hello, and we will use the hello as an example of what to translate. If I want to translate this to French, I could do uh, another variable, my French word, and then this equals translator, um, and then translate. So here I'm calling this variable and then I'm calling a method within that. So then I have, what do I want to translate? I want to translate my word. And what is the destination language? So dest, and again, my word refers to this variable. Dest is a method, so I need to get the, it's case sensitive, it needs to be exactly D-E-S-T. And then what language do I want? In this case, I want French. Now, there's lots of codes for the languages. Most of them are obvious, but in the link, I will drop some of the codes for you. So there, what do I want to translate? What do I want to translate it to? French. And then I need to close one more bracket. And then if I do print my FR word, hopefully this will work. Okay. Obvious error here, I spelled Google wrong, so uh, change that and spell Google correct and then run again. And here we can see that the text has been translated to bonjour. Now, we do have a lot of other information here, so the source language, the destination code, etc, etc. Um, so I can say here, just return the text. Um, so if I say dot text, so I'm ignoring all of the other bits that get returned, just the text, and then try again. And then here I have hello translated to French. Uh, let's try a different language here and run again. And last one, uh, let's do Thai. And good. So a very simple, quick, easy way of translating strings into a different language. If you're liking Google Translate, then watch the next video where we dive in a little deeper. I hope you're enjoying coding. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.